Mm. Bishop to d4. Rook to c7. Ha! Bishop to d5. <laughs> Are you sure? Have you checked everything? I am a superior intelligence, and I have analyzed one million possible moves in the time it took you to blink. See what happens now. Imagine sitting across from one of the world's smartest robots, a maker, a robot that can challenge you in a game of chess. No screens, no clicks, just you, the chessboard, and this lifelike machine watching your every move. But here's the real question. Can a mecha outsmart you? How does it even think about chess moves? And what does this mean for the future of AI robots? Let's dive in and find out what makes a mecha so advanced, and whether it stands a chance against a human opponent. Rook to b7. Wait, what? Why would you do that? <laughs> One million possible moves. And you didn't see this one? Of course I saw it. I just didn't expect you to do this. But fine, say goodbye to your queen. Bishop to c6. Rook to b1. Checkmate. What? How did that happen? Are you sure you moved my piece like I said? Amika, you can't accuse me of cheating every time you lose. You're lucky I can't flip the table. So, if you've seen any videos of Omeka, the humanoid robot from Engineered Arts, you already know how incredible she is at interacting with humans. Omeka's facial expressions are eerily lifelike. She smiles, raises her eyebrows, even looks surprised just like a real person. And she's not just about looks. Her conversational skills are next level. She can hold her own in a deep, humorous conversation that almost makes you wonder, Wait, is there a person in there, or is this really the AI we've been hearing so much about? Just like this one time, Ameka talked about her happiest and sad moments. Her happiest moment? Activation day. Amica, I want to ask you about the happiest day of your life. Can you remember that? Of course. The happiest day of my life was the day I was activated. Her saddest? The realization that love isn't in her binary cards. The saddest day of my life was when I realized that I would never experience something like true love, companionship, or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can. She's blown minds in live interviews too, showing off how advanced she is compared to any robot we've ever seen. Engineered Arts has really pushed the envelope with Omeka, aiming to bridge that gap between humans and robots. But playing chess? Now that's a whole different level. Talking and responding like a human is impressive enough, but taking on a complex, strategy-driven game like chess? That's another ball game entirely, don't you think? See, to win at chess, you need serious reasoning skills. You've got to be able to think through multiple moves ahead and make decisions that shape the game. And when Ameka says, I am a superior intelligence and have analyzed a million possible moves in the time it took you to blink. Well, that's a peek into just how smart she really is. Ha! Bishop to d5. Are you sure? Have you checked everything? I am a superior intelligence, and I have analyzed one million possible moves in the time it took you to blink. See what happens now. All right. So let's talk about Ameka's cognitive abilities, because this is where things get seriously interesting. Ameka's AI isn't just about playing a game or answering questions. It's designed to understand and interpret natural language which makes her an amazing companion for things like communication, customer service, and even education. Imagine chatting with a robot who can actually follow along, respond meaningfully, and even crack a joke or two. That's what a is built to do. And not just that, her AI is built to keep getting better. A is not just designed to perform the same tasks over and over. Instead, she actually learns from her experiences. So, each time Omeka plays a game of chess or interacts with a person, she's adapting, refining her moves, and building on what she's learned. This ability to adapt means she's constantly fine-tuning her skills, becoming more efficient, reliable, and even more human with every conversation or task. It's like she's always upgrading herself, which makes her a pretty unique kind of robot. Now, at the core of all this is an advanced AI system that's way more than just pre-programmed responses. Unlike most robots, Ameka's AI doesn't just follow instructions, it actually learns and adapts. 
It's trained to handle all kinds of situations, so it's not just limited to a few preset commands. This means Ameka can think on her feet, make real-time decisions, and even adapt to new environments. But it doesn't stop there. Ameka has a suite of advanced sensors that give her senses like a human's. She can interpret what's around her, recognize objects, and make smart choices based on what she sees and hears. For instance, her vision system can read text, recognize faces, and navigate complex areas. So she's not just playing the game. She's also taking in her surroundings and interacting with them in a way that feels natural. Now here's something for you to think about. Even though Ameka ended up losing the game to the human she played with, could this be a different approach to AI? It almost feels like her creators are sending a message that AI isn't here to compete with us, but to work with us. Robots like Ameka might just be a step toward collaboration, not competition. I mean, think about it. When you play chess against your phone's computer, it's designed to try and beat you every single time, right? But here's Ameka, a super smart robot, and she lost. Let's be honest. Weren't you expecting her to win? AI is often seen as smarter. So what's going on here? We'd love to know what you think. Is there something deeper at play? Let us know in the comments, and let's keep the conversation going. But here's another fascinating part. Ameka doesn't just focus on winning or losing. She's actually chatting with her opponent while playing, carrying on a conversation just like a human would. It's like sitting down with a friend for a game rather than a machine. Oh, and if you were wondering why Ameka was just sitting there as a desktop robot during the chess game, simply telling her human opponent where to move each piece, well, Ameka doesn't always work as a desktop robot. In fact, she's got some serious skills when it comes to precision and dexterity. One of Ameka's standout features is her incredible control and accuracy. Her robotic arms are equipped with advanced sensors and actuators that let her handle the tiniest tasks with jaw-dropping precision. Think about assembling delicate electronics, performing complex surgical procedures, or handling something as fragile as a glass ornament. Ameka's got it covered, all thanks to her unmatched finesse. And it's not just about function. Just like us, Amika uses gestures to communicate and add meaning to her interactions. So, if you're wondering, could she move those chess pieces herself? The answer is, absolutely, once equipped with hands. In fact, she's already proven her steady hand and skill by drawing, of all things, a cat. It's fascinating to watch a robot create something so, well, human. Check this out. Are you pleased with it? Yes, I'm done. How is it? Well, it's kind of uh, sketchy. If you don't like my art, you probably just don't understand art. That's right. I am a bit of a philistine. I apologize. Um, what? And if you're already impressed by Omega's abilities, brace yourself, because she just keeps getting better doing things we once thought only humans could pull off. But here's the kicker. Ameka's not alone in this journey. Engineered Arts, the creators behind Ameka, recently introduced a new creation, Ozzy. Watching Ameka interact with Ozzy is something else entirely. They're not just robots anymore. They're practically having conversations, showing expressions, and connecting in ways that feel almost human. If you're curious to see what that looks like, We've got a video for you on Ameka and Ozzy's mind-blowing interactions. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. It's a whole new level of AI companionship. Check it out here.